Hello. Anybody ready for some yoga? I am ready for some yoga. In fact, I'm ready for some uh, relaxing, gentle, massaging yoga. Good morning, Joyce. Good morning, Jane. What's going on? Anything? <laughs> nice. Um, I love all the photos I got from boot camp. So, um, if anybody logs on here that was not on uh, boot camp earlier, uh, we're doing selfie Thursday. So, um, but it looks like everybody so far that I can see was already here, so you don't have to post another one. Uh, we're going to start laying down. You just need your strap and your mat, or your towel and your mat, or a tie or a belt. Um, we're going to work on some restorative poses, um, some stretches for your hips, your low back, your shoulders um, so that's what we're doing but we are definitely starting laying down and um, if I fall asleep somebody just call me wake me up um, and I'll try to make sure that my phone doesn't ring I don't know some people said they could hear the phone on Tuesday ring some people said no um, so I will try to make sure that it does not ring today by turning my phone off. So let's lay on down. Hi, Mom. All right, down we go. I think you can still see me. Can I see my hand? Yep, okay. All right, so just lay down with your hands on your belly, your feet flat on the floor. If you don't know by now, my name is Suzanne and you are in yoga, I would ask that you turn your phones off, that you shut your doors, and that you commit to the hour on your mat, just like you would if you came to the gym. Or you went to your yoga studio. Just relax your spine down into your mat. Your knees are bent, your feet flat on the floor. Just feel your belly expand on your inhale. And pull that belly button in towards your spine to let go of all of your breath. Maybe take these first couple of moments to think back if you've been doing this with me for a couple of weeks now. Is there one thing that you'd like to work on today mentally or emotionally? Do you want to work on your focus? Do you want to work on not being hard on yourself? You want to work on relaxing more. Just try to find your focal point today. And as you take those deep breaths, maybe just kind of see that focal point, those thoughts that you want to keep, the relax thought, the, um, yeah, just whatever that thought is, just in your forehead, in that space right above your eyes. And 
when your mind starts to drift away, just come back to that thought, come back to your breath. Let's bring your arms up over your head and just drop your knees side to side. Just giving your low back and your hips a little massage on your mat. And then let's leave your knees over to the right. Stretch those arms up overhead, a little bit bigger stretch, noticing how your shoulders feel. And then let's bring those knees back to center and drop them to the opposite side. Again, that big stretch, feeling that right side of your body. And then coming back to center, stretch your legs out long. Stretch your arms up overhead and give yourself a big full body stretch. Pull that belly button into your spine like you're trying to put on that pair of jeans that's one size too small. And then release that by bringing your knees into your chest, giving yourself a hug. Just noticing how that feels at your tailbone, at your low back. Don't pull your knees in too far. And then let's just circle your knees and your legs around your hip joints. So a little double leg circle with your knees bent. Just kind of rocking to one side, letting your legs release down and rocking to that opposite side. And then pulling them into your chest. as big or small as you'd like. And then opposite direction. Just noticing how your body feels, how your breath feels with the little movements at the beginning of class. Let's bring those knees in and give yourself that hug. Let's turn your feet around your ankle joints in one direction, then opposite direction. And then let's drop your knees over to the right, your arms out to the side. Just a gentle twist. So if this feels too much, just kind of open that angle from your thighs to your chest, bringing your feet a little closer to the end of your mat. And just breathe. Feel your upper body, your shoulders relax into the mat. And feel that big, deep breath. Come on back to center. And let's drop those knees to the opposite side. And as always, notice how that feels, right side, left side. Just open up that angle at your hip if you need a little bit less. Breathe. Come on back to center with those knees. Give yourself a hug. Put your right foot down, extend your left leg up in the air, and just straighten and bend that knee. 
You can do anything you want with those feet. Maybe point them up as you inhale and flex as you exhale and bend. Any pace you want on your breath would be great. You can pull that leg in a little bit more, holding at your hamstrings if you'd like. Feeling a little deeper stretch, little bigger movements. Just warming up your knee joint, your hamstrings, your calves. And then let's switch legs. So you can hold behind your hamstrings or not. Point your toes up, flex your feet, bend your knee. So inhale, straighten, exhale and bend. One more time, and then bring both knees in, cross at your ankles or your shins, rock a couple of times, and come on up to a seated position. So if you want to sit on a block or your pillow or just on your mat, that's fine. Sitting up nice and tall though, so make sure that you pull your cheeks back if you're just going to sit. Your palms are up, your eyes are shut, and you're just breathing. So just kind of take about five to seven breaths where you're just nice and still and quiet. Let's turn your palms down on your thighs and then see if you can sit just a little bit taller. See if you can rise up, relax your shoulders down, tip your head to the right, come back up through center and tip your head to the left. Come back to center, go to the right, come back to center and go to the left. And then just side to side, on your own breath. Should feel like you wanna to inhale to center and exhale as you drop your head. Try to relax your knees, relax your hips. Relax your shoulders. Let's roll your chin down to your chest and let your head just roll around in that little half circle. Side to side. Try to keep your shoulders in place and just extend out through your neck. And then let's leave your chin down at your chest. Let's grab your elbows behind you. And if that doesn't feel good, you can just have your hands down on the mat or just kind of hanging down or just interlace your fingers behind you. Whatever feels good for you. Just looking down, deep breaths. Feel your whole body expand on that inhale. On your next breath, lift your chin all the way up to the ceiling. 
Exhale your chin right back down to your chest. Just do that a couple more times. So chin all the way up, head back. And then chin back down. One more time, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Nice neutral position with your head. Let's put your fingertips on your shoulders. Elbows up, back, and down. Inhale and exhale. After a couple of times, let's put your left arm down, your right arm reaching up, and just stay right here. Just reach up. Reach, 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 reach. And then let's lean over to the left. Just come right back up to center, reaching that right arm straight up. Exhale as you lean left. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you lean left again. Let's stay over here. Looking down or up, but press that right hip down into the mat as you reach up with your right hand. Slowly come back to center, lifting up and away out of that shoulder joint. Left arm reaches up, stay right here. Press down into your hips. And then let's lean over. Inhale back just to center. Exhale as you lean to the right. Exhale back to center. And then this time let's hang out on the right. Eyes open or shut. Push down into that left hip. Bring your shoulder blades together so keep the chest open. One more breath. Come back to center. Big inhale up. Big exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's put your palms down on your thighs. Let's pull your belly button in. Pull your shoulder blades apart. And then reverse that by bringing your shoulder blades down and open up your chest. And then back down into cat. And then rise up into cow. And then if you want, you can add some arms here, bringing your palms together in front or opening them up. You decide what works for you. I'm just gonna keep my hands on my thighs today. One more. And then let's just come back to a neutral spine. Let's remove that block if you're sitting on it. And let's leave our legs straight out in front of us in staff pose. So you're gonna pull your booty. So each cheek, pull it back. So you're sitting up nice and tall. And then your arms are just going to go all the way up. As you push down into the mat, your arms up. So we're going to work on your posture, shoulders relaxed, looking up or forward or slightly down, maybe at those feet. Flex your feet and push through your heels. Breathe. Then on an exhale breath, turn your palms away and slowly Bring your hands down at your side. Good. Let's bend your right knee. Just easy bend. Don't try to do anything fancy or difficult. Just bend that knee comfortably and just make a twist. So twist back, look back as far as you can and then release that as you just look forward and then do that again. Twist back. And then come on forward, 
Take a big inhale and exhale and twist. Come back to center. And this time, let's stay in that twist. Big deep breaths, really trying to sit up nice and tall. So try to use that hand behind you to push down to lift you up taller. Come back to center. Let's straighten your right leg. Let's bend your left. Sit up tall again. Grab around that leg. If it feels better for you just to be here, this is fine. We're just going to twist on an exhale. You're going to inhale back to center. You're going to twist on the exhale. Inhale, lengthen as you come back to center. Let's do it again one more time. And this time we're just going to stay right there. So twist back around. Again, pushing both hips down into the mat, twisting at your waist. Big deep breaths. One more breath. Let's come back around to center. You can leave your legs out straight or Fold them in in a seated, cross-legged position. You're just going to inhale your arms up and exhale down. One more breath. Inhale up and exhale down. So straighten your legs if they're not already there. Put your hands behind you and then just open up your chest. So just lay back with your head. Open up your front of your throat. So really try to lift your chin. Point the toes and feel like somebody has a string at your belly button and they're pulling you forward as somebody's pulling your shoulder blades together. Breathe. And then you're going to come back to center and we're going to come onto your hands and knees. So from hands and knees, so hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. We're just going to do some tiger poses to get our legs warmed up. So your left arm is going to reach out straight, your right leg is going to go back straight. You bring that all back to center and then you extend opposite arm, opposite leg, inhaling, exhale back to center and then inhale opposite arm opposite leg. So your choices here are to just do your arms one at a time, then just do your legs one at a time. If it hurts your knees, your options are to lay down and lift opposite arm opposite leg. This will take the pressure off your knees obviously. And if you feel so inclined to do this from a full plank, you don't have to put your knees down at all, and you could lift opposite arm, opposite leg. So you decide what you want to do, and we're just going to do it a couple more times on each side, trying to keep your hips even. Full plank, it's a little difficult to keep your hips even. But hands and knees, you just keep that belly button in towards your spine and just send your legs straight back, not thinking about lifting them, just thinking about pushing them straight back with a little squeeze of your glutes. One more time on each side. Good, then you're back in hands and knees. Your right leg is going to go out. 
and your right arm is going to reach up to the ceiling. So either straight up or a little bit back with a little twist at your waist. Breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Push down into your hand. Reach up with that right hand. So down with the left, up with the right. And then we're just going to thread the needle. So take your right hand underneath your left armpit. You can't probably reach your shoulder or your ear. You're just going to reach. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Feel it in the back side of your right shoulder. Feeling it in your inner thigh on the right leg. Breathe. Looking left. Come back to center. And then push yourself up into downward facing dog. So we could be child's pose here instead. You can bend your knees a lot if you'd like. You can do a little walking the dog. So one heel down, then the opposite knee bends. And then bring both knees down. You extend your left leg out. Your toes are pointing to the front of your mat. You take your left arm, twist at your waist, and bring that left arm straight up, your right arm straight down. Then you can add a little bit more rotation at your waist, bringing that left arm back a little bit more to open up your chest. Think about that twist at your waist. Breathe. And come on back through the center and underneath that armpit. So thread the needle. Left shoulder is going to try to reach down. Probably not going to make it unless you bend your elbow. You could do that if you wanted. But not a necessity to get that elbow down. You're just trying to give it a good stretch. Pushing that inner thigh down on the left side. One more breath. Come back to hands and knees and then we're going to go with your right leg right behind your left. So you're going to start like you're going to open up into a knee down side plank, which is fine. This, if you need to kind of kickstand that left leg back a little bit. So you're here, then I'd like you to try to take that right leg and bring it back a little bit more with a bent knee. And then try to open up even more. So some of you can make this a little deeper. I'm not going to show it, but if you need to make it deeper than this, please go ahead. One more breath. Come on back to center. Put your right knee down right behind your right wrist, your left leg goes straight back, left arm comes up, your modified side plank, put a kickstand down, so put that right foot back a little bit if you need to, then take your left leg, step it behind you, and really open up that chest. Big deep breaths, push your hips forward, so that you're opening up the hips, opening up the whole front side of your body, opening up that left shoulder. One more breath. Come on back to center. Let's find downward facing dog. Take two more breaths in down dog. And look up at those hands and walk your feet forward or your hands back and find your forward fold. And then from forward fold, what I'd like you to try to do is just bend your knees, drop your hips, and look forward with your hands at your heart. And if this is too much, you can come up a little bit. You can put your hands on the floor 
If you can, you make it a little bit more difficult by lifting up your heels. So just a little warrior squat mixed with chair. So let's call it warrior chair squat. We'll just make up that name. Take one more breath. Slowly rise up, heels down, arms up, hands down at your side. And then let's just find a nice standing, comfortable mountain pose. So hands wherever you want them to be, feet wherever you want them to be, eyes shut. Your toes should be in line with each other. So your feet are in the same space, just next to each other. Hands either at your heart or at your side. Big deep breaths. Take a big inhale with your arms up overhead, pushing your hips forward. Interlace your fingers and then look forward as you just lean to the right. Inhale back to center and lean left. Inhale back to center and lean to the right. Again, center and left. Hands are going to go at your side as you just fold forward. So lead with your heart. Reach on down. Bend your knees a little if you need to. Once you get down as far as you can go, inhale right back up. And exhale right back down. So always folding at your hip. Exhaling down and inhaling up. Same amount of time to come up. Same amount of time to go down. All right, one more time. So whenever you get back to your standing mountain pose, let's just hang out there. You're going to come to the front of your mat and we'll do a couple of uh, different poses um, and do them a little differently. So it's all a little different. So let's take your left leg and step it. Actually, we're going to start with your feet in mountain pose. So your feet are about hip distance apart. You're going to just slide your left foot back along the same line. So you have the same space in between your front feet. When you split them, you still have the same space. Your feet flat on the floor so that heel in the back does not come off the mat. You find your hip joints. Your feet are maybe three feet apart, two feet apart. That's two and a half feet apart. You find your hip joints, sit up, lengthen your spine, so be as tall as you can. With both legs straight, just come forward keeping your right hip moving back and your left hip moving forward. You should start to feel it right away in your hamstring muscles on that right leg and your calf muscles on the back leg. So when I fold forward halfway, I feel it in the hamstrings, but I don't really feel it in my calf. So I'm just going to take that leg a little bit further back so that when I fold forward, I start to feel it in the calf on the back leg. So if you go halfway, you're going to have to use your core to keep your upper body parallel to the floor. This is pyramid pose. Your arms can be out to the side, on your thighs, or reaching out overhead, or at your heart, or back behind you in reverse prayer, or holding onto your elbows. So you decide something. 
press both feet firmly down into the mat. So that big toe on that right foot, press it down into the mat. Your pinky toe down into the mat. Your heel down into the mat. On an inhale, rise up, pressing down. And on an exhale, I want you to go right back down again. This time we're going to try to fold all the way forward as best as you can. So either just hang on to the leg, maybe walk your hands down to the floor. I'm going to bend my knee slightly in the front. So you can keep yours straight. Lengthen over that leg. So actually feel your upper body. Try to come up and over that right thigh. Chin to your chest. Look back at that left knee and breathe. So to make this more of a balance challenge, you can cross at your wrists, your hands at your wrists, right at your right ankle. You can also interlace your fingers behind you and get a little deeper forward fold that way. So you decide. Take one more breath, then bend your front knee over your ankle and drop your left knee down and let's find lunge. So bring your arms up overhead, nice and slow, reach up. So feel that difference from folding forward and now your body's up. Should feel a little bit of something going on in your right hip and hamstring, but you're opening up this left hip flexor. Breathe. And then bring those hands down. Let's find down dog again. So step your right foot back. Do a little walking the dog maybe. Notice how you feel. Right side, left side. Do you need to go back to that thought at the beginning of class of what you wanted to work on? Patience, relaxation, something. Let's walk your feet up towards your hands and let's drop down into that squat again. So drop your hips, bend your knees, hands at your heart, looking forward. Can't see me. Step back and then lift your heels up if you want. Breathe. Press those palms together, find that focal point, take one more breath on an inhale, rise all the way up, heels down, on an exhale, hands down at your side. Alright, so now your right leg is going to step back in pyramid. So maybe you remember how far back to get that calf, you can play around for a little bit, take your hips. Square them to the front, find your hip joints, inhale and lengthen, exhale as you fold forward, pushing the left hip back, right hip forward, until you find that point where you feel like your upper body is parallel to the floor. Feel it in your hamstrings on the left leg, calf on your right leg. Mostly the hamstring right now. Hands wherever you want them to be. You got about four breaths here. Really try to square those hips up to the mat. Really again, press all four points of each foot firmly into the mat. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly rise up, pressing down as you lift up. 
inhaling your arms all the way up and exhaling as you fold forward. So this time you're going to fold all the way forward, but still lengthening out and still pushing back. Soften your front knee if you need to. That back heel on the mat, so adjust your foot. So this is the side where I really have to bend this front knee, but your front leg should be as straight as you can. Should feel it more in your calf now. Tuck your chin, look back at your leg. Do whatever you want with those arms. Crossed at your front leg, back behind you. Lift the hips up and breathe. One more breath. Bend that front knee over your ankle. Drop your right knee down into low lunge. Adjust the left foot if you need to. And then rise up with your upper body. Inhaling. Again, feeling that difference from being folded forward and now lifted up. Open that hip flexor. Breathe. All right, let's come into downward dog. Let's bring those knees down. Let's lay back on your back and just give yourself a little hug. So once you get there, your knees come in. You can roll your feet around your ankle joints in one direction, opposite direction. Let's bring your arms out to the side and extend. Um, no, 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 no. Come back to center. Bring the knees in. Flex your feet. Put the bottoms of your feet up to the ceiling. Move your knees away from the midline of your body and hold on to either your foot, your big toe, or just the back of your hamstrings in happy baby. And breathe. So you should feel it in your inner thighs, a little bit in your low back, but it should not feel painful. So if it does, your options are to bring your hands lower and bring your knees in closer. But lower that tailbone down. You can kind of rock side to side if that feels okay. That's why we call it happy baby. And if you're nice and still in the middle, that's when we call it dead bug. Let's bring your right foot down in the middle of your mat. Cross your left leg over as tight as you can and then bring those knees up towards you if you can. If you need to leave the right foot on the mat, fine. Then just take those knees over to the right, looking up or left, and breathing. So focus right on that left side of your waist, that twist, focusing your breath right there. back to center and switch legs. So left foot in the middle of your mat, cross your right leg tightly over. Either bring your knees towards you or leave them right where they were and drop your legs over to the left. Feel that twist at your waist. 
Get a stretch of that outer thigh and hip, looking up or right, and breathe. One more breath. You're going to come back to center. Put your right foot down right in line with your hip. Cross your left leg over, but this time in a big wide cross. If you have a strap or towel and you want to use it, go ahead and grab it now because what we're going to try to do, you're either going to stay there and press that leg away, or you're going to try to bring that right foot off the mat. You're going to extend that leg up to the ceiling and put your strap around your foot so that you're gonna get our hamstring stretch, calf stretch, and your glute stretch all at the same time. A little multitasking. So just make adjustments how you feel. It might not feel as good to have that so close, so maybe you're going to be a little further away, the strap or towel will help you do that. As long as you're reaching out through that heel, you're getting that good calf stretch and the hamstring stretch, maybe bring your upper body up. But for me, when I do that, I feel strain in my neck and upper back, and that is certainly not what we want, especially not at the end of a class. And then let's switch sides. So let's put your right foot down. Uh, let's see, how are we gonna do that? Uh, you cross your right leg over, you stay there, press that leg away, or bring your left foot up. So your leg should look like an upside down four hips down, heel up. We've already done a pretty good calf and hamstring stretch with that pyramid pose. So if this whole thing isn't working for you, just make sure that you get that outer thigh and glute stretch with your leg crossed over. Your left foot can definitely be back on the mat. two or three more breaths. And then slowly come out of that. Let's put that strap to the side. Give yourself a hug. Let's drop those knees over to the right. And then to deepen this, if you want, you are welcome to stay right where you are. If you'd like to straighten that left leg and then walk that right leg back, right foot back to your mat. That will allow your left knee to drop down a little bit, your left leg, and deepen that twist. Looking up or left. And then back to center. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Give yourself a hug. Drop your knees left. Arms out to the side. 
Extend your right leg straight. See how that feels. Maybe walk your left foot back to the mat. See how that feels. Looking up or to the right. Breathing. Relaxing the back of your head into the mat, your shoulders, your neck, your spine. on back to center. Give yourself a big hug. Turn your feet around your ankle joints. Opposite direction. And then let's find cobbler's pose. So the bottoms of your feet together, knees are bent. Let your legs just drop down to your mat. Bring your arms up overhead, bending your elbows, and just try to let those knees and legs relax down to the floor. Just by using your breath and gravity. And then just slowly start to extend both legs straight. If you have a towel or pillow and you want to put that over your eyes, an eye pillow or a towel. Put your hands down at your sides, palms up. Walk your shoulders down away from your ears. And just lay as quiet and as still as you can for just about three or four minutes. Trying to relax completely into the mat. Letting go of all outside thoughts and distractions. Just focusing on your breath. The inhale and the exhale.
Let's start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Just slowly, gently waking yourself back up. And give yourself a big full body stretch. Arms up overhead. You can bend both knees, rock them side to side. And then maybe fall onto one side or the other. The right side if that doesn't feel uncomfortable. And then let's slowly push yourself up to a seated position, something that feels comfortable. And then let's all breathe together. So inhale up, a big ah, exhale. Two more, inhale, ah, one more time, inhale, ah. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Thank you for uh, being here. I appreciate it. Namaste. Have a fabulous rest of your whatever day it is. I think it's Thursday, but who the heck knows. Um, I feel like I'm kind of settling into my new normal. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. And if you want to send me a selfie, if you haven't already, most of you already have. But if you've done yoga and you didn't do boot camp with us and you want to send us a little selfie of what your space looks like, that would be great. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Let me know what you're doing. Text me. Call me. Whatever. Bye.